Hello, good day. How's it going? Figured I'd make a little video on Miata roll cage install. We've sold about 30 of these. Um, a lot of guys are putting them in uh, with good results, but I figured I would just kind of give you a, a little little overview of what's involved and uh, what you got to do to get this four point in there. Uh, so yeah, just an overview of the cage. It's a basic four point. We make different variations. We can give you a harness bar. We could make it just a four point. We do X in the back, however you want to do it. There's a couple different options. Um, but yeah, just looking at the cage, obviously there's four base plates. So what happens is these kind of sit um, where the soft top folds down, kind of near the gas tank, and these get through bolted. Same with here. Um, there's a factory bolt hole there where the seatbelt mount goes. So when we install, I'll kind of show you how that goes. Um, so when you get the package, this is kind of what comes in it. There's four extra plates and a box of hardware. Um, these brass bolts, or these brass colored bolts, I should say, um, is what you're going to use for the through bolts. And then there's a couple other silver ones that you use for a seatbelt uh, relocation. Kind of goes there. Um, the seatbelt will get bolted to this now because it's going to be right over top of where the factory one goes. Um, so yeah, basically installing, you got to drill through the car and these get bolted underneath. So it's like a sandwich plate. Um, same with on the back here. So that's kind of what comes in the package. That's the roll bar. That's what it looks like. Um, we got a Miata here that will kind of show you how it goes. Um, obviously you're going to have to remove some stuff. So remove the seats and the plastics in the back here. Pull the carpet back and uh, that will get you started. We got to remove this other one that he had in there. but. Once we get the seats out and get to the actual install, I will pick it up there, but just go ahead and remove all this stuff in the back, make sure you got lots of room. Um, and then down here, like those bolts I was saying, I'll grab a flashlight and show you when we install, but there's a bolt here um, that you can reuse. I know people have asked, they've tried to thread in one of the bolts that I include with the package and it's not supposed to go there. So I'll clarify that when we get it in. So keep removing some stuff and pick up there okay so you can kind of see where we're at now um, the biggest pointers here are obviously taking the seats out and then these plastic um, parts here that kind of go in the back B pillar if there was around where the seat belts go those got to come out you might as well just take the seat belt assembly out altogether you'll have to take the uh, there's kind of like a cover that goes over the back of the tank here, the front of the tank, I should say. So that's got to come out as well. And then just make sure you kind of pull these wires up because those base plates land right around here. So you just have to reposition these wires a little bit. Same with these ones. Make sure that you put it in um, with these wires either in the front or the back so they can be rooted nicely once it's finally installed. But um, yeah. A good chunk of the labor is just removing stuff to get the cage in there so that's where we're at we got the old roll bar out um, so now we're gonna try to finesse this thing in there so I will let you guys know how that goes but uh, basically those bent parts of the roll bar these guys here those kind of fit right where the seatbelt assembly goes which is why I said to just remove it all together and then the wires are kind of run behind here so you can see that part of the cage is going to be sitting right here so you kind of got to finesse it in there these do fit tight so it's not uh, something you can just drop in and be done with so we'll grab the cage and uh, try to weasel it in there okay so we got it in there I highly recommend you get a buddy to help you Weasel it in there. It's not uh, the easiest thing. These, it's not a. You can't just drop it in and be done with it. I would say the hardest thing about getting this back into its place are these wires. So there's a big wire right here. Um, you just want to remove as many of the clips as you can, and um, you can kind of elevate the cage up and weasel it past. They do fit tight. It's the same thing over here. 
Um, it's a matter of finessing the cage kind of around the wires and uh, being able to root them properly once it's installed. So that's the biggest challenge. There's also a little bit of notching that needs to be done kind of on the back here. It's probably hard for you to see. Right on the back here, it just touches. So to close this gap, I've had uh, one client ask, oh, I can't go back far enough. Um, this is typical when you install these. You gotta just give it a little notch back behind this tube. It's not much. Um, we only gotta go that far, so. We'll pull it back out. I just wanted to do a test fit and uh, trim those, and then it should find its final home. You do have to wrestle them in a bit, but uh, we got it in, so. There she be. I'll pull back out, trim there, and uh, pick up when we get it back in its final spot. You can see that little notch there. A very small amount. It's like I was saying, uh, it does require cutting, which might scare people, but we're talking like maybe a thumb width off of that. So not much. Um, it'd be a good idea. Like these holes in the back here are gonna be pretty tricky to drill. You can kind of see I marked them out. Um, so if you can just get a small pilot through those, you could drill them from underneath the car. These guys are gonna be pretty easy. And then uh, the same over there. So basically you gotta drill with these holes. You also have to jack up the car. Um, I've worked on some chassis that already had these inner fenders taken off, but this one didn't. So you gotta take these guys off. A couple of 10 mils. And then uh, you'll see where you poke through is basically where your sandwich plates go. So they're gonna be kind of under this area and kind of up in here. So basically we're gonna drill our holes next and then weasel, weasel this back in there and should be pretty much it. So yeah. Get these holes drilled out, and then we'll show you how, uh, how to weasel it in there. We got her back in there. Um, we'll push it down to reach those holes, but I just wanted to clarify. You basically gotta slide the cage forward a little bit, then put your seatbelt assembly back in its home, and you can see the hole is kind of through right there. So you wanna bolt that in first. Just leave it loose and then you can bolt the rest of the cage in, but uh, that is supposed to be a factory bolt again. That's the only spot that you reuse the hardware. Um, don't don't try to shove one of these in there. So that's what it looks like, factory bolt. So put those in and then we'll get the rest of the bolts secured in. Start reassembling. So we got her in the car, got the bolts started at least. Um, if you're having issues lining up the plates, I don't know if any of you guys have these sitting around your shop, but it's like a small pin bar or an alignment uh, tool. If you got one of those, this is going to come in handy. You can get the hole that you're having issues with lined up, tighten down the other bolts, and then you should be able to fit your bolt in. So that was a little bit tricky. Also getting these seatbelt bolts back in was also tricky. You can kind of see them back there. Um, so just take your time and they should go. So it's in there, it fits. Like I said, you gotta kinda wrestle it in there. It's not something you just drop in and done with. You gotta finesse it a little bit, but it is in there. So tighten up these bolts and uh, keep reassembling. So in order to reuse this little gas tank cover here in the back, um, you're gonna have to do a bit of notching. Just kinda like this, just remove the little section. Do the same on the both on both sides, and then you should be able to bolt that back in. So let's get that back in there. Here she is. The car that we used for our install. It's all done. So all the obvious things, make sure you tighten everything back up, reinstall everything. Um, like I was saying before, those seatbelt um the top of the seatbelt uh i don't know what you want to call this but it gets bolted there whereas usually it's behind this bar um so that's one thing to note if you're running full interior you're gonna have to trim the carpet a little bit 
um, around the tubes. Also, these plastics on the side need to be trimmed as well. Basically turn them into two halves. Um, but yeah, I mean, it went pretty smooth. Definitely take a buddy. If you got one, it'll make it go a little easier. But everything, everything fits. And uh, that's how you install a cage in a Miata, so that's her.